Hello everyone. So there's been some confusion about whether or not the new, newest generation of Harman Kardon head units in the Subaru Outback and Ascent and other vehicles that have them can use playlists on the USB sticks that you all are putting your music on. And people have been told that no, playlists do not work. Fortunately, that is not accurate and I'm going to show you how to make playlists work. The first thing that you're going to need is any sort of application on your computer that you can create playlists on. In my case, I'm going to get lazy because I have it, and I'm going to use VLC Media Player here, just because it's right here and it's available. So here's VLC Media Player open with no media because I did not select media and you can see it's on the playlist tab right now and I have nothing in it whatsoever now I've already created one playlist right here and I'm going to show you that in a minute But now to create another playlist uh, we're going to actually recreate this playlist here I'm going to get rid of it and we're going to make a techno playlist so I'm going to go in here this is my USB stick and I'm going to go in and find my dance and techno stuff. I'm going to take the songs that I want and I'm going to drop them into VLC's playlist window. So now I have my songs right here. And now all I am going to do is go into media. I'm going to do save playlist to file. I'm going to go pick the appropriate drive that I want them in and folder. So you can create a folder anywhere you want. I created one called playlists. And I'm going to name it. Now, VLC will, will suggest a name based off of, I have no idea what, but that doesn't matter. I'm going to name it Techno and save it. So now, here's my playlist right here. In my playlist folder, I'm going to edit it. You can edit it with your favorite text editor. Do not use an editor like Word or WordPad. You can use Notepad. I'm going to use a programming editor just because I happen to do programming for a living and I have it handy. So I'm going to zoom in here for you all so you all can get a better idea of what I'm doing. This is the playlist file right here. Now, this is actually really easy to fix. This first uh, um, line with a name in it that starts with extinf is going to be the song name that it displays on the screen. Do not change this number. Do not change anything except for the name portion if you want to. So because these do not have um, ID3 tags in them, I just delete the .mp3 at the end of that to make it look pretty. The next line is the location of the file. And you'll see in this case it says J colon backslash dance and techno. Now, you do not want to edit anything after that first backslash. What you do want to do and this is pretty much the only thing that you do need to do, is get rid of the drive letter. Because your, your uh, head unit in the car isn't using that drive letter. So, once I do that with the next entry, which is longmusic.mp3, I'm going to do that again with the final one of my three songs here. I'm going to get rid of... Oops, wrong line. You don't want to do that. It will never be able to play that file. I'm going to get rid of the .mp3 on the file names. And I'm going to name this something a little bit better. It's going to be capital L space music. I'm going to leave this. I'm going to probably capitalize this right. This will make your house shake stream base test. Now, my playlist file is now complete and this will work on the ascent this is literally all that you need to do um, you can skip the renaming if you want i wanted to rename that but all you do is you get rid of the drive letter so this was oops uh j colon and you just get rid of that and leave the backslash and you're all set this becomes that you do that with every single entry now, I showed you the slow way of doing this because it's only three entries, but in reality, almost every text editor has a find and replace feature. So, excuse me for that, my suction cup for some reason came up. So, let's say I had a, a massive playlist that I had built using um, VLC Player or anything else that will build an M3U style 
um, playlist. All I need to do is tell it, I want to take this J colon here. I go into this case, search and replace. And I put J colon. And then I put nothing. So no spaces, just nothing. Blank. And I hit replace all. Or to be even safer, just in case you for some reason have J colon in the name, you do J colon backslash and replace it with a backslash. And then you hit replace all. Three occurrences replaced. Close this. There's my file. I save the file. I get out of my editor here. And here it is here. Now, here's the next trick to this. You go back to the root folder of your USB drive. You take that file. You drop it into the root folder. So there it is right there. And you're done. You now have a playlist that's ready to go. And that's all it takes to create your playlists. You can use any music player or AV player. For instance, as I said, I'm using VLC. You can use anything that will create an M3U style playlist. Find that playlist, get rid of the drive letters, adjust names if you want to, don't adjust them if you don't want to, and then save that playlist onto the root directory of your USB drive, and you're finished. That's all it takes. And now I'm going to show you this in action. So, as you can see right now, I am playing off of my USB stick here. I'm playing a little uh, techno track, and there's my USB stick that you saw earlier. Now, here's the interesting thing. A lot of you have been told, as I said earlier, that playlists do not work in the Subaru Ascent and new Subaru Outback. That is not true. And following the steps that I've shown you, You'll find that here are my songs, my albums, which it's indexed, and my artists, which it's also indexed. And you will find, if you scroll down over here, you'll find playlists. And here's my playlist that I showed you me creating. So it's really that simple to have playlists that work off of little USB sticks that you can put your media on. So then that way, if you're not connecting your phone via Bluetooth or you're not connecting it via Android Auto or CarPlay, you can still have playlists with anything that you want playing, playing from your USB stick plugged into one of the two front ports. Anyway, I hope that helps you all out and provides you some more options of some things that you can do. Uh, enjoy.